Okay, so today I wanted to do a video about um, bisexuality. Um, I identify as a bisexual, so it is um, something that is, is near and dear to me. You could say it's, it's something that I consider important, and I have some sort of some pet peeves about. Um, basically how it's perceived um, and how it uh, can be stereotyped by a lot of people. So, um, the first thing that I wanted to address is this idea that bisexuals are confused. Um, that they're not, you know, truly um, attracted to both genders or whatever. They're, they just, uh, they're confused about which gender they're attracted to and um, they can't make up their minds. Um, I can't speak for everyone out there that identifies as bisexual, but I think really why there is this perception about bisexuals being confused is um, because I think people have a lot of different um, definitions and perceptions about what being bisexual is. Um, and therefore, you may have some people, um, well, you may have one person that identifies as a bisexual and it means something totally different to them than it may to another person who identifies as bisexual. Um, for instance, someone who is Maybe sexually attracted to both genders, but only romantically attracted to one gender, may identify as bisexual. I mean, for example, they may only have relationships with women, but may enjoy casual sex with men, but you know don't really fall in love with men and aren't interested in having a long-term relationship with men. Um, they might identify as bisexual. Um, and then also a person who is um, truly you know, sexually and, and romantically, emotionally attracted to both genders may also identify as bisexual. Um, but really, I think their experiences of bisexuality are, are totally different. And, and therefore, I can understand why some people might be confused about bisexuality. Um, simply because, like I say, a lot of people that may identify as bisexual may have completely different experiences of what bisexuality is and what it means to them in their life. Um, I also wanted to address the, the stereotype that bisexuals are somehow um, more promiscuous than um, heterosexuals or, um, or gay people even. And I really don't think um, that that is true. Um, I've certainly known, you know, and heard about um, many you know, gay people or heterosexual people that are promiscuous. So I, you know, and I've also known plenty of, of bisexuals who are completely monogamous. So, you know, uh, hopefully not a lot of people really have that stereotype anymore. But, um, for anyone who does, I would have to say that that I disagree with the the truthfulness of it. Um, there may be some people out there, and I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't doubt it that um, maybe aren't or are really only bisexual in the sense that they are pretty much up for anything with anyone at any time um, when it comes to sex. Um, you know, they really don't discriminate. Uh, you know, maybe it's those people that are giving all bisexuals a reputation for being promiscuous. I don't know, but you know, I really don't think that's fair because, um, you know, it, it, it certainly doesn't um, apply to all bisexuals, and certainly not most bisexuals either. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there. Um, there is a certain amount of, um, I think, hostility toward um, bisexuals from some segments of the gay community um, as, as seeing you know, bisexuals as people who, um, yeah, 
I don't know, or maybe sort of Uncle Tom to the whole gay movement, you know, that because they, you know, also experience heterosexual attractions that they uh, don't really understand what it is um, to be gay. And, um, you know, I would certainly say that, it, that everybody has different experiences. And I could understand um, why you know, a gay person might think that, um, you know, I had it easier, for example, because I'm bisexual, that I didn't have to, um, struggle as much with my sexuality as someone who, you know, is completely gay, and, and I, I would have to say, though, that, that it all depends on the individual, and speaking from my own personal experience, I would say that, um, being bisexual really uh, greatly affected my life, um, my self-esteem, my uh, confidence in romantic relationships. Um, I always felt, um, pretty much from the time that I that I hit puberty, and I, you know, realized that I had attractions to women. Um, I didn't actually come out of the closet to myself even um, for 10 years after that. Um, so I think that should hopefully show people um, that I had a lot of uh, shame and repression with regard to my sexuality. Um, after I came out um, to myself, it was, you know, a while before I felt comfortable telling other people. Um, but after I uh, came out to myself, I realized uh, all the signs, you know, that I had, uh, should have seen over the years that should have, you know, led me to the conclusion that I was bisexual. And um, I realized how, uh, painful it was for me dealing with um, homophobia from um, family members and friends and boyfriends. Um, you know, and I also remember having a moment when I think I was around nine or ten where I realized that I had attraction toward females and I remember basically pushing that, those thoughts down to the core of my being because it was so painful um, to think about all of the hatred that is out in society against gay people that I had been exposed to. Um, I, it was like I uh, internalized all that. And, and realized um, that all those people um, that were, you know, putting down gay people as, as sinners, as disgusting, um, immoral, all of that stuff, and, you know, inferior, that, that all of that, um, <sighs> I just couldn't deal with it. Um, I just couldn't deal with it. I know maybe it was because I was so young, and I, I know that uh, there are a lot of people that are strong enough to admit to themselves and be honest with themselves that their sexuality is at, you know, a much younger age than what I did. But uh, I'm just the type of person who has always been uh, very concerned about being liked. and. Uh, Sorry, um, people approving of me, and, uh, you know, I was, uh, I was picked on a lot in school anyway, as sort of being, um, weird, you know, just, uh, you know, an outsider. Um, I had a, a not real good family life either growing up, and, um, uh, maybe that, all that made it that much harder for me to deal with my sexuality, honestly. But I really do feel that that uh, 
experience and all the homophobia that I was exposed to really feel like that it did uh, damage my self esteem. I feel like it uh, encouraged me to uh, get involved in sexual activity at a younger age than what I would have if I hadn't had to go through any of that, if I, you know, had been um, taught by society uh, to accept myself and to love myself instead of being taught by society to hate myself and to uh, disgust that part of me that was so, uh, you know, was deemed so dangerous and, and uh, unacceptable by other people. So, uh, any time <laughs> that anyone uh, tries to uh, convince me now that, uh, that homophobia is a good thing and it's a righteous thing, um, all they're really doing is convincing me that their belief system is morally bankrupt. <laughs> um, I have absolutely no respect for homophobia at all. Um, I think it's evil. And any religion who, you know, that espouses it, um, I have no respect for that. I feel like it's, uh, it's just a, a very spiritually destructive and evil belief. Um, you're teaching people to hate themselves and you're teaching them to lie. Um, and those are not good things um, at all. And uh, Sexuality, you know, it's 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 a morally neutral thing. I mean, no one can control their feelings. You know, obviously you can control what you know what actions that you take based on those feelings, but um, you know you can't pray the gay away. <laughs> um, and I, I really think the uh, the effort to try to make people do that and to try to uh, tell people that uh, they can't have a proper relationship with God unless they reject their homosexuality or bisexuality, whatever the case may be. Um, I think that's a disgusting thing to teach people and uh, anyway, just wanted to share that. Um, I don't appreciate the fact that a lot of uh, heterosexual men will uh, objectify bisexual women in particular. Um, and also, you know, women, they also will objectify themselves um, in an effort to attract men or to titillate men um, with, you know, the idea of being with a woman or being sexual with a woman. Um, I'm not going to go as far as to say that uh, that's wrong, you know, for women to, you know, have sex with another woman just uh, to turn her man on, um, you know, if, if the woman that she's with uh, knows what's up and, um, you know, is, is maybe just in it for the sex and, and whatever, you know, and they're consenting adults. Yeah, I personally don't understand it, but I'm not gonna gonna say that it's wrong. Um, but it would be wrong for me. Um, I am not someone who can easily separate um, sex from emotion, and so I really I don't understand it. I, I don't understand that kind of behavior. And I don't understand men who would encourage their women to be with other women, but wouldn't encourage those same women to have relationships with other men, um, you know, that were purely sexual. Um, it just seems strange to me. Um, I don't have anything against people not being monogamous and people having open relationships if that's what they want to do, but I don't understand um, having a double standard about it when it, you know, when it comes to gender and thinking that, okay, it's okay for my partner to be with 
someone of the same sex outside the relationship and not the opposite sex. Um, I just find that very odd and um, I personally have been in relationships myself um, before I was ever intimate with a woman. Um, my partner, you know, was always you know, pressuring me to to have a sexual experience with a woman, and I I didn't appreciate it. I, it really actually uh, made me angry that he did that because I felt like he was uh, dehumanizing me and disrespecting me to a great degree. Um, you know, he saw it as he was. Uh, doing me a favor, you know, by being willing to allow me to have, you know, this experience even though we were together, but, um, you know, I knew he didn't want me to be with other men, so I just found it, uh, I, I just found it disrespectful of my sexuality and disrespectful of me being the type of person that wouldn't be able to, um, just go out and have sex with someone and, and not have it affect me emotionally and not mean anything to me. Um, emotionally, romantically, uh, yeah, I, I basically felt like he was trying to pressure me into that because, you know, the idea of me being with another woman turned him on, um, and, you know, like I said, I just felt it objectified by it, so, you know, any men, if you're you know, even if you're just making jokes about that kind of thing with your girlfriend, you know, it's really not funny. If you wouldn't make jokes about her being with other guys, don't make jokes about her being with women, you know, it's just, I, I just don't think it's cool. I mean, obviously you don't have to listen to me, you can live your own life, but, um, I would caution you <laughs> to, to not do that because, um, she may be taking offense and she may not have the the courage to say to you that that you're offending her because I didn't really have uh, the courage to stand up for myself the way that I should have but you know just putting that out there and I also wanted to <clears throat> which I've mentioned this in other videos but I wanted to just reiterate um, what bisexuality isn't and what homosexuality isn't. Um, it isn't uh, coercive. Uh, it, you know, I mean, rape is rape and I don't think that you should put a, a heterosexual or homosexual label on it. Um, I think that that is, cheapens the whole idea of sexuality to even call, you know, a coercive situation um, say in a, you know, in a prison setting, for example, where you're, you know, having sex with someone for protection or, um, you know, so someone else, you know, won't assault you, um, you know, that's not homosexuality, um, you know, just like it's not heterosexuality when, when a woman maybe gets approached by a prison guard to, you know, offer him sexual favors in exchange for, you know, some kind of special privileges within the prison. Um, you know, by that same token, I really don't consider prostitution, um, you know, it's sort of a, its own category, um, and, and certainly there are male prostitutes and, and male porn stars who, you know, perform homosexual acts as, you know, for money, but that's not, you know, they don't consider themselves homosexual or bisexual, they're, they're just doing a job and they're just trying to make money, and, you know, I don't think people really understand that, uh, to, or think about that, um, to the, the degree that they should, so I just wanted to put that out there. Um, and also, I think that there are some cases where people may sexually experiment when they're younger. Uh, never happened to me, <laughs> but you know, probably because I I had um, 
that may hang us about um, homosexuality, but um, I, you know, I know that some people will um, sometimes uh, participate in, in same-sex sexual acts, you know, as, as part of a teenage experimentation, um, maybe because they don't have access to the opposite sex, or maybe because they're just uh, trying to figure themselves out, and, you know, I really don't consider that um, truly, you know, I, w I wouldn't put that with a, you know, like, people have so much shame to say, like, I I've had former boyfriends tell me that they had sexual experiences with someone of the same sex, um, you know, basically when they were virgins before they ever discovered, uh, well, were able to date girls, um, yeah, and it was such a great source of shame to them, um, because I think, you know, society sort of puts that label on you that if you maybe commit one homosexual act in your life, or many, that, you know, you must be gay or you must be bisexual, um, but I don't think that that's the case. I think, um, I think there, there are two main aspects to sexuality, and that is uh, attraction, sexual attraction, which is, you know, physical and also, um, you know, emotional, like romantic attraction when you fall in love with someone. And I think it's I think it's possible to enjoy sex with someone of the same sex or just someone uh, of the opposite sex if you're gay and. Uh, but that doesn't mean, you know, that you're, that you're really attracted to them, maybe you just like the way that they touch you, um, and you're sort of able to overlook their gender, even though that's not what you would pick in an ideal circumstance. Um, you know, I just wish that people wouldn't, uh, you know, put themselves in such restrictive uh, boxes, you know, when it comes to their sexual activity, and then I wish that people could just feel less shame in general um, with regard to their sexuality, and uh, so that was really the main points that I wanted to make about bisexuality and um, sexuality in general, and I hope you enjoyed my video, and thank you for watching.